hello from Drexel Hill, United Methodist Church just west of Philadelphia. May you find a blessing in weekday transcendence. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep. As a new school year begins, Drexel Hill United Methodist Church prays a blessing on all students and all who are teaching. I wanted to remind you of something you probably already know, but it's worth rehearsing. In the beginning of the Bible, we have Genesis, the story of God creating all that is. And this sets up a different relationship than others you may have heard about, because God is outside and beyond creation. In Greek mythology, I don't know, Roman theology, if you've studied it, you know that the gods there are meddlesome beings. They're demigods with their own little kingdoms who interject themselves into the affairs of human beings. They push things one way and another. They have romantic relationships with women and men. It's not possible to organize around a set of expectations about the world. It's necessary in Greek mythology to organize yourself around making sure that you please the gods in their various fiefdoms. Because in Genesis, God created, and there was night, and there was day. And there is earth, and there is sea, and there are heavens, and there's terra firma, there's the ground. And thus God, in the first chapter of Genesis, gives us the beginning, the foundation stone of actually learning, of learning about the world and understanding that it's possible to comprehend it because we can study nature's tendencies and also discover how dependable each tendency is. So, as you begin your study this year, God bless you because God loves students and God loves teachers who seek to understand the world and to live faithfully in it. Let's pray. Gracious God, we lift to you today students everywhere returning to their classroom, whether physically or virtually. May they be ready to receive your blessings and they commit themselves to study and learning in the school year ahead. We ask you blessing on each one of them. Further, we ask your blessing on books, computers, pencils, and pens. They will hold the schoolwork of each student and will be carried from home to school and back again as students learn May they be reminded of the love and care of their congregation that surrounds them in their study each school day. We pray as well for the teachers and administrators in our schools. May they also be sustained by your blessing. May they be reminded that this congregation embraces their call to teach and learn and surround them with love and care as well. We pray in the name of Jesus, who we seek to follow, day by day. Amen. Come and see us next week again at Drexel Hill, United Methodist Church, 
for weekday transcendence. And between now and then, remember that lovely digest of John Wesley's Thought and Theology. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can.